Hello, lovely Capricorn, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Capricorn, this is going to be a general intuitive reading from today, September 7th through the 18th. On the 17th and 18th, whatever you are, we are having a full lunar moon eclipse in the sign of Pisces. A huge reality check into a new cycle that's opening up. And where it will be? Our intuition versus logic. There's a lot of spiritual development with mid-month coming in for September. So I'm looking forward to it. This is for our lovely sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this reading may not resonate with all of you out there. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So Capricorn, we have no. Desiree is here. So no, conditions are not favorable at this time. Okay, there is a reason why I feel you're being redirected. It's saying you need to look into a situation or look into other options. And please ask the angels to help you and comfort you during these changes. So there's something here that has not come fully to the light. Now Pluto is retrograde in your sign. Once again, it has returned for the final call from now to November 19th. Pluto's in Capricorn, your sign at 29 degrees. I know you have learned many lessons, Capricorn. And yes, this is the last time you will see this. Pluto comes in and it will not return in our lifetime. So Pluto's getting ready to leave right now. I feel that right now there's something here emotionally that's letting you know, trust your intuition, okay? If some, something doesn't feel right, then it isn't right. It says yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, your peace of mind, and your spiritual growth right now. So it feels like there's been a lot of adversities. Yes, Pluto is a very intense sign. There's been a lot of ups and downs. There's been a lot of pain, a lot of trauma. And yoga is an exercise are essential. So it's a feeling of Ray. I'm saying Ray and Desiree, okay? It's like Capricorn, in order to, re in order to have a peace of mind, it says your spiritual growth right now Stay in the present moment. Meditate about your next step, right? It's about get out there, walk, exercise, your health, your, your body right now. Even though you may not have the green light to go forward right now, there's a reason why the angels are saying something isn't right right now. So don't go for it right now, okay? Now, it could be money issues, but it also tells me uh, Serena's at the bottom of the deck and Serena is saying, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive that money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. You're on God's payroll. So whether you believe in God, source, creator, the universe wants you to know the money that you require is coming in. So there could be some reward for your hardships with Pluto, you know heaven's uh, blessings on you because you went through so much. So it feels like right now there, the conditions are things can be foggy. You can be confused right now. It could also feel like there's something here that's telling you, hold on, hold on just a minute, okay? So let's get the oracles from the wisdom of the oracle for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. Now, where did I have your information? Yeah. So it's been from 2008, Pluto, in your sign. You've been transmuting a lot of energies, a lot of darkness. And you won't have to deal with this for much longer, okay? Now, Uranus is in your fifth house. Uranus is also retrograde. So there could be something to do with relationships, romance. It could also have to do with, um, you know, your self-expression. A feeling of happiness, joy, fifth house, creativity, okay? So something new could be brewing here. Let's see. 
for some of you, it's a change in residence. It's a change in home. It could mean relocating, okay? No place like home. You could feel like five, like 50s here, which is a five. So in the zero tells me there's a reset. I feel you're being redirected, okay? It feels like if you're feeling rejected, it's like because God is redirecting you. The angels are redirecting you. Have faith because there is something positive on the horizon. The fates have it. So this is like the energy of Aquarius. There's something here to remain hopeful for when it's talking about changes around your home, okay? The home front area, your roots. It feels like whatever it is, be flexible when it comes to these changes. Be ready to adapt because it feels like by you being open-minded right now, you will be able to adapt to these changes. Now, let's go ahead and get the tarot deck, okay? It's like, let's shuffle these cards. Why is Capricorn, let's confirm this. Why is Capricorn not able to make a decision? Why are they hearing no to a reply? Why do they need to look deeper into a situation before they proceed? Well, by Pisces full moon, you could get a glimpse into this. Okay, it's like there's something here that you might not see, okay? But the angels do see what's going on. Yeah, nine of cups. This, you're wishing for something here. There's something here when it comes to wish fulfillment, nine of cups, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. There's something here that you want to achieve, Venus and Taurus. So you could have Venus in Taurus or your Venus is in Capricorn here. Yeah. It's very traditional. Whatever this is, it could have to do with marriage. It could have to do with your commitments. It could also have to do with your status. I feel you have a major status role change. There's a lot of anxiety. I feel that's stopping you. I feel you fear this change or you're fearing to move or you're fearing something here. And it feels like you've been very unhappy. It feels like overall, there's a lot of a feeling of you're overwhelmed. You could be having anxiety at this time, okay? Five of cups. Yeah, there's some kind of a disappointment, some kind of a loss that you're experiencing here. Now, you could be on your own, standing on your own at this time. But it feels like whatever it is right now, there is some, it's like you're between yes and no. Like you're getting one minute yes, one minute no. It's a maybe, okay? It could either go this way or it could either go that way right now. But it feels like whatever it is, there's some heartbreak here, okay? It feels like you need to stay in the present moment. Focus on the present moment right now. There's some negative emotions here, okay? There could also be some isolation that's here. Tell me more about this yoga and exercise and a peace of mind, okay? It's like calm your mind. Meditation will help you. Page of Pentacles, you will hear a yes. The Page of Pentacles can be you're starting a new class, yoga, exercise. You're getting back to your day-to-day. -day. For some of you, it feels like by calming your mind, you'll be able to say, yes, I got this new job because there's something new. It could also mean you're taking classes. You're signing up for a class. This is learning something, a new beginning, something that's solid here. But it's asking you to set a goal. Set a goal. There's an opportunity here. If you left an application or a resume, it's like, yes, you will get this. Two of Cups. There's love here. Security. There you are, King of Pentacles and Mars and Aries here. So Mars is retrograde in the sign of cancer right now. When it comes to your connections, when it comes to a child, okay, Page of Pentacles can be a child. It doesn't have to be. But it feels like this new opportunity is going to put you into alignment with Two of Cups. You'll be in alignment with harmony and balance. There is a decision where you can see eye to eye with someone here. Okay? It could be an authority figure. It could be a boss. This could be a business partnership. They could be offering you some promotion. Okay? Or there could be some job opportunity here. It's saying stay grounded right now, Capricorn. There's a lot of success here, okay? It feels like this is not a risky situation here. 
And it feels like whatever it is, you are going to have the energy with Mars, action and energy to progress on this, okay? There's a lot of success here. So you could be a father figure or connecting with a father figure, Mars and Aries. It also is feeling like there's a lot of success. There's some kind of partnership or some union, some relationship where you can have harmony in it. Yeah. It feels like someone's going to reach out to you. It feels like this could be a child offering you something. Or it could be somebody reaching out to you. Yeah, Eight of Cups. But it also feels like there's a part of you that's slipping away. There's a part of you that wants to let go. Okay. There's, there's something here that you're about to discover. Okay. If you're looking for the truth, you will find the truth in this situation here. Okay. It feels like someone here is going to be very honest with you. This relationship is going to bring in a lot of balance and a lot of equality here. Whatever this is, it feels like you're taking charge of a situation. You're taking this person up. So it feels like if they're offering you something, you're taking them up on an offer, an opportunity. What is the home situation? No place like home. You're feeling stuck. Okay, you could be feeling trapped or feeling stuck in a situation. Page of Cups in reverse. There could be a child here. It could be that there's somebody here that doesn't make plans for tomorrow. So they, you don't know where you stand. Like this person only lives for today, okay? So they could spend money foolish and they keep you trapped in the situation. Or you're feeling trapped in a situation, okay, overall. Feeling blocked or feeling like you're stuck when it comes to a home dynamic that you want to move forward, but you will be. The chariot tells me there is things that are on the move. So there could be relocation. This could be leaving town. There is victory by you breaking out of, um, by breaking out of a thought pattern, something that you've been fearing, okay? It's like you have the willpower now to move forward. Your hard work will pay off here, okay? You need, to make, you need to make plans for the future. That's what this is saying. You need to keep your plan stable. You need to break out of something here that you know is spilled over. Like there's something emotionally that you don't want to invest in anymore. That's been keeping you stuck. And I feel that you've learned a valuable lesson, King of Swords. Yeah, whatever this was, there, it had no structure. It was always like it was up in the air, okay? You need to make a head over heart decision. So it feels like you're, you're thinking very analytical right now and you're taking authority. And it feels like you are getting advice, okay? It could be meaning you're getting legal advice or you're getting some energy here around thinking very logical where you will have success, six of wands. Yeah, and the empress is here. So it feels like you're getting very clear, Capricorn, when it comes to a decision. You could be connecting with Virgo, I mean, I'm sorry, not Virgo, it could be Virgo, you have Virgo in your chart, but Taurus or Libra. Finding, re, finding some kind of reciprocity into a situation that brings in a lot of healing. There's a lot of healing to be had here. It feels like whatever this is, there's a beautiful home that's waiting for you, okay? It could mean that you're thinking whether you should do redos or beautify your home, okay? Th there's a very creative energy that's coming in for you here, okay? It could be a mother's helping you or you're reaching out to a mother. But it feels like whatever it is, it feels like you are moving forward. You can overcome any of these obstacles that you're facing right now. That's what I feel. You're overcoming obstacles. All right. Let's get these. This is for Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. I feel you have a lot of options. This is for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. This is for Capricorn from September 7th through the 18th. It 
It's like, just don't overdo it, I'm hearing. Don't overpromise anything right now that you can't keep. But it's a feeling of getting organized, getting ready for some change. I said it, seven of cups. You have options, you have choices, so you're confused right now. There could be like this overload of information, seven of cups here, okay? It's how you look at a situation. Eight of pentacles in the past, five of pentacles in the near future, ace of swords is the challenge. You don't have the, the clarity yet that you've been waiting for. You're, there is like a feeling here of you're confused. There's a lack of clarity around what you're doing, but the sun is coming out. So the sun will shine on this situation. Look at that. Ace of Cups is here. There's a brand new beginning here for you, Capricorn. So it feels like whatever's happening now, happening now, you will rise out of this situation and you will rise to success. Spirit says definitely there's much success. There's a profound change that's happening here for you. It feels like the struggle is over. Yeah, the struggle will finally end. You will see the light in this situation here, Capricorn, is what I'm feeling here for you. So it feels like there's a whole a whole status changing. This could be your career. This could be your home, okay? It feels like whatever it is is coming to the light. So you can rest ashore here. That whatever adversity that you've been going through, any pain and trauma changes, it's like you're taking one last final look at this and you could proceed, okay? In the past, Eight of Pentacles. You're very gifted. You're very talented, Capricorn, at what you do. You work very well with your hands here, okay? The Eight of Pentacles tells me it's about the quality, not the quantity here, okay? The Seven of Cups is a feeling of a reality check. There's definitely a reality check that I feel is coming in by mid-month. If you're not seeing the clarity here, the Ace of Swords, it's like it's almost, it's like it's not clear yet, but it will be clear. Now, the Five of Pentacles is coming into your near future. The Five of Pentacles is what you don't see. The Five of Pentacles is a feeling of isolation, insecurity, and worry. I feel you're very worried or concerned at this time, okay, of how things are going to work out. But with the Sun and the Ace of Swords and the, and the World card, there is a major t turning point here, okay? It also feels like whatever it is, there's a completion. There's a faded ending that's coming in here. You're also graduating to the next level of your life here with the world card. It could be travel. You could be thinking about relocating, traveling here, and you're not clear quite yet how this is going to work out. But Spirit is saying it's going to end in success. It's going to be a very positive turning of events that are happening for you, Capricorn. So like I felt, within a day or so, you can get clarity, okay? It could be up to seven days here for some of you. I feel in the next week or so, you should hear the good news here. The Ace of Cups tells me this is a lot of self-love. The Ace of Cups is your heart's desire. It's a new beginning in love, a new chapter in love, if this is what you're looking for. It feels like, oh yeah, high priestess, Pisces energy here. It's saying trust your intuition over logic at this time. The high priestess tells me this is a situation where you're in touch with your intuition, okay? The high priestess says there's something here that you are not sure of, but you're trusting your gut. You could read the situation by now, like, okay, and three of swords. Yep, it's taking off those rose-colored glasses to really see this, this painful situation, three of swords. There's been a heartache, a pain. You've been going through ups and downs, and I feel that you are not a budging, Capricorn, four of pentacles, okay? Four of pentacles tells me you're holding back, you've been holding back. There's been resistance here. Someone here is, is holding on to information, and it feels like whatever information is going to come to the light, they are very hurtful words, hurtful actions from this person. I feel you have a new beginning starting here with Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords. Let's see why you're in the Seven of Cups. 
So where you are, it could be foggy weather conditions. This could be weather's not permitting it, seven of cups. It could be you're thinking about something, wishful thinking here, but is it real? Is it reality? Is it, is it, it's like a good reality check. Can this be where you want to reach or are you leaving your options open? It feels like right now you're leaving your options open. Page of Pentacles. You are going to hear that message, that news. This is a yes. If you left an application or a resume or a credit check and you're not sure, you've been waiting and waiting and not hearing the call back, I feel that like you will be getting that call back. Don't worry about it right now. You're very stressed out right now, Capricorn. It feels like you've been waiting a very long time for, for clarity of where you stand. Now you're finally standing on your own two feet. So there's a lot of financial opportunities coming to you. A lot of rewards with Seven of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. This could be eight months ago. There's something here that you planned for that you might not be seeing that's very unclear at this time. You've been waiting for results. A need for you to reassess before moving forward. So it's saying reassess when you're confused, okay? Reassessing a situation. Six of Wands, there it is. You will have victory and success. Your self-esteem, Capricorn, is going to be everything here. That battle is ending here. The Six of Wands tells me that the hardships you face, the setbacks, you will have success in this situation here, okay? There is major achievement, major achievement, a major glow up with Aquarius energy. This is love and acceptance here. This is a wish fulfillment here. Let's see what the Eight of Pentacles is in the past. Three of Wands and King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, when it comes to finances, work, career situation, you are emotionally invested in the project here, okay? The work that you do. There was a lot of work that you had here in the past where you were very much aligned, body, mind, and spirit here, okay? It also feels like you had team players here, but... It feels like you were opened up to something in the past that was that was working for you here, but it kind of felt like the plans that you made, three, three, okay, things begin to come to shape and then they kind of slow down, they kind of stop. It feels like with the Knight of Swords here, okay, there could have been some energy that rushed in like a weather, like uh, you see all the clouds here, this communication that came in kind of clouded you, okay? It was like it came in so fast it's like drama, drama, drama. So if you were in a situation where there was a lot of drama at work, there was a lot of lashing out, or in the situation, take it where it goes, in love in a relationship. It felt like it was a lot of drama. There was somebody here very reckless. Now, five of pentacles in the near future of what you don't see. Yeah, nine of wands. You're on edge about it. You're on guard. You built a wall up here, okay? And it also feels like you're taking one final look at this, okay? It also feels like if you've been feeling like an outcast, not anymore. There's that home for ones. There's that blessing and that celebration. Venus, Venus and Taurus, Venus and Libra with the high priestess. I'm, I'm sorry, Pisces, the hangman. There's been some delays around this, okay? It feels like you are finally in the moment now where you're in the lap of love, luxury, and pleasure. This is where you're headed. You're coming out, Capricorn, of this Five of Pentacles where you could have felt this poverty consciousness. But I feel that you're turning things around. I feel that you've gained a higher perspective. You've learned so many lessons now. And it feels like now you can finally see the energy here. This is a lot of self-love, self-worth. The Empress is, is an energy of profound beauty, profound love in oneself, a lot of fertility, a lot of growth that's here. You've come a far way, or you've come a long way, Capricorn. And it feels like there's one final last look, one final straw with this 12th house Pisces thing. It spells me you're healing. 
The Nine of Wands is your perseverance. There's a test of faith here, okay? It's about your perseverance right now, Capricorn. And with the Empress, with Venus being exalted right now in Libra, this is an ultimate time for blessings here, okay? It feels like you're standing your ground. You're protecting what you've built upon here. So there's a lot of healing. There's a lot of letting go. A lot of processing information and negative thought patterns by recognizing that five of pentacles that keeps us in a low frequency vibration. So the ace of swords tells me you're not clear and that is the challenge that you're having right now. Full card. Two more. You're not wanting to take any risk when it comes to love. You could have this Knight of Cups here, somebody who's all talk, no action. Someone who's very moody, very unrealistic. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Page of Wands. This person seems to be very moody, okay? Emotionally detaching. Someone here does not want to take a risk. They, f they feel this is very risky. Someone here is not taking a chance, and they could be not giving you the whole truth, you know, not giving you the clear picture, but it feels like this could be somebody who's insecure. I also feel there's a codependency here, okay? This person is very unrealistic when it comes to love, and it feels like what it is is, is they're keeping you in this, this loop of the Seven of Cups where you don't know where you stand, but I feel that the truth is about to be revealed here, okay? Uranus going retrograde is going to be definitely a clear sign now where you can definitely get some information that was held back. I feel this is all information that's been held back. Someone here wasn't honest with you, Capricorn, okay? And it also feels like this person could have fire in their chart. They could be Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But it also feels like there's been a lot of setbacks, okay? There's a lack of closure. This person's codependent on you is what I feel. The world card, let's clarify the world card. It feels like this struggle is about to come to an end. Yeah, Queen of Swords. This tells me you're getting very clear. You're thinking very logical. You're making some cuts here. Five of Swords. There's some conflict over this ending. And Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone's trying to fight to keep you from moving forward. This person doesn't want to see you move forward. So somebody here is like pushing you to the edge, okay? They like to fight. They like to con they like the conflict here. But it feels like Eight of Cups, you're turning your back on a situation that you're fed up with. So there's been this feeling where you're not a doormat. King, Queen of Cups is the challenge. Someone here can't just you know, feed off of your energy anymore. This is time to get very clear, to cut the fighting out, and to definitely make a decision whether you're you're walking away from a situation. I felt like there's been this unfairness, six of pentacles, no equal give and take in a situation here. There's a lot of abandonment issues when it comes to the eight of cups here, okay? Someone's trying to prevent you from moving on, moving forward here. But like the world card says, there is a major ending here. The world card is a completion. It also is a new phase in your life. The sun card tells me there's a new phase. There's a new day here. Knight of Wands. A passionate new offer could be Leo. Two of Cups. Page of Cups. Yep, look who's coming back around. Someone's about to make an appearance here, okay? This could be at a family event, a celebration, a gathering here. But I felt the Knight of Wands with the Page of Cups. There's somebody here that, if you're looking for short-term adventure, it's here, okay? This could be a soulmate of yours, someone that you were in a relationship with before. But I do feel that this is somebody who used to be on again, off again, and now they're returning. This Page of Cups is an opportunity, a message that you'll be receiving, okay? This is somebody who's coming in with a lighthearted offer, Sun card. This could be somebody who wants to travel. With the Ten of Cups, this is somebody who I feel with the Sun, 
brings in a lot of happiness, Ten of Cups. It could be like a feeling of coming into alignment, Ten of Cups, with marriage. Proposals, the ultimate happiness here. There's a brand new beginning here with the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. And this is if you're up for this, Capricorn, okay? It feels like you have a choice there, okay? It also feels like where you're going to be also trotting along to when it comes to a decision. It feels like you're getting very passionate, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is you are inspired, okay, to take action now. There is someone here that I feel has this divine spark with the sun card and the two of cups. You have a soulmate. Now, this could definitely be a new beginning here for you. Someone that brings a lot of adventure into your life. Somebody who brings a lot of passion into your life. Like I'm feeling two different scenarios, okay? On one hand, I feel definitely positive. The sun card. A new soulmate is coming into the picture here. It's going to start off very lighthearted. They're going to bring in a lot of excitement to your life. It has a lot of potential. It has room to grow. This relationship, Capricorn, can grow into marriage, the ultimate happiness. This is someone who can be very traditional when it comes to relationship status here. There could also be a lot of fertility here. Okay, I'm seeing pregnancy in the future. I'm seeing a baby. The fish in the cup could be somebody here is, is, is pregnant, okay? For some of you, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Cups can be somebody announcing a pregnancy around you, okay? It could be definitely someone's returning here. So be flexible. So Capricorn, let's see what the universe has for you. We're going to leave this reading off with Capricorn's message from the universe. It says, when you continue to reminisce, replay, or hold on to what could have been, you continue to hold yourself in a place of resistance. Let what was inspire a new way of living, but don't allow it to limit and determine what it can be, okay? It says, the journey wasn't the smoothest, that's for sure, or the most pleasant lately, but everything is coming together. Your patience, your strength, and your perseverance will soon be rewarded. The wait is almost over, Capricorn. Just hold on, okay? So if you're f feeling like the conditions are not favorable, the universe is saying stay in the present moment. If you don't feel that the timing is right right now, okay, have patience. It'll still, it, the wait will almost be over. Hold on. It won't stay like this forever. Every storm passes. So the storm is about to pass. This fog is about to be lifted, is what I'm feeling, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning in. Sending you all tons of love and light. If this reading did resonate, I would greatly appreciate sharing your comments, your likes, and hitting the bell below for future readings. God bless all of you. I'll see you in the next read.